Hi guys, Chesenia here. Today is November 1st and I'm challenging myself and my co-workers to write in a journal that I made for them um, each day of the month what they're grateful for, what they love about themselves, just little random things throughout the month. And I will be doing some random acts of kindness, you know, just being grateful for one another, um, thankful for my family and friends and stuff like that. And I made five great um, journals. I say grateful, thankful for they can write on. Um, a friend of mine reached out to me and she says she wanted to do something special for her and the kids. And I'm going to show you what I have created. So this is the first one and it was using one of the paper pads from Michael's which I don't remember the name of it right now. So this is the inside front cover. Right here I did a pocket. Right here I did a little photo mat. I used one of the cut aparts here. It says notes. Look at that. How beautiful those images. This was another cut apart with the gold foil. Let me see. There we go. We'll move out the way. I used um let me see some tag um dies that have like the little stitching on the sides for the pockets right here i created a pocket here i always create pockets i'm sorry for the moving around i always create pockets here and i wanted to put like i'm um, a blank november calendar for they can write in specific things Look at this beautiful pumpkin, another cut apart, sorry for the shadow. Here I have a pumpkin die, how beautiful. We have that big machine um, at work, so I cut out some pumpkins using the same paper pad. Here is the back cover, another photo mat, the back inside cover, and then this is the back cover. So that is journal number one. Let me get to the number two. Look at this. This was a square cut apart and I just fussy cut around it and I backed it up with some like bronze paper. Look at how gorgeous is that. This is the inside. They're different, but they all have the same paper pad. This one has two photo mats. I got to go through them to see what to add, what to take out. This is another cut apart and I backed it up with the bronze or the gold paper and then with some cream cardstock behind it. Here's another tag, another side pocket. Here's another pocket with another tag. This one's not part of the, the tag die. Here we go. Then the middle section, another beautiful pumpkin with two tags. Then the back, look at that, more photo mats. Look at this, how gorgeous. That paper pad is gorgeous. And this is the back. She wanted four for her daughters. No, three for her daughters, one for her and one for her son. So I'll show you the one that I made for her son or try to make it more masculine. And you all let me know what do you think. So this one is one of the cut aparts, just how you saw I used it on the other one for the photo mat. So look at how gorgeous these pumpkins are. Right here, another cut apart. It's a pocket here, there's a pocket here. Then we got photo mats in there. Another pocket here another small pocket using one of the cut parts two tags another little label there pumpkin with two tags and this is the back inside cover and this is the back cover I'm doing this video now before I forget before I turn them in so that's why I'm like you see some of the shadow and the back and forth Right here is grateful and blessed. This is the inside. This is a pocket, one of the cut aparts, a big side pocket to add stuff in there. Look at this one. I fussy cut around it because it was 
a six by six so i fussy cut around it and it already had that gold foil around it another little cut apart up there another pumpkin two tags then this one doesn't have a back pocket it's just that i love this image so i didn't want to cover it up and this is the backing of it and here is my last one this one's supposed to be more masculine so i have these stamps from may may made it crafts and then i have this little die let me see the little die is from i do have it here spell binders right there we have the little acorn and then the stamps oh i do have them here look at this may may made it's october 16 this was like 2016 maybe yeah look at and i'm terrible at cleaning my stamps that's why they're so dark like that um so oops sorry sorry i got everything falling all over the place my little gnome right here so let's continue so then i did the cut apart and i backed it up with the goyle the paper with the goyle <laughs> with the gold paper i stamped out the leaves two different leaves on the same paper pad and i added two little acorns the reason why i did this was because when i was gluing this down i'm letting y'all know i got a little kind of dirty right back here so i was like i have to cover that up but i think it looks cute then right here there is so much to be thankful for this was one of those long strips that we get from let me see what journal has it i think this one from one of those long strips and i cut it apart and i inked it using my tim holds vintage um ink pad so i put that there there is so much to be thankful for little pocket right here two tags a large pocket another cut apart up there another cut apart here with a tag i also included a pumpkin with another tag and the side pocket with two photo mats and then this is the back cover so let me know is it too girly or is it you know good for him masculine journal so those are my five journals and I am going to include this little pack right here of rub-on transfers for they can use because I love the way it matches this paper pad. And these I had purchased at Dollar Tree. And I will be adding some other little goodies, some stamps and stuff like that for they can have and they can decorate inside their journal. And they want that for, they, they want to start some, a family tradition kind of thing. So that's what I created for them. Um, let me know what you think. Um, leave the comments down below. Subscribe if you like. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.